Capcom sure knows their way around just and noble characters. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Capcom heroes. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. For this list, we'll be examining all of Capcom's games and franchises in search of the most iconic, most enduring, and most inspiring of their assorted heroes. As per usual, we're placing a limit of one character per franchise. Kyle? Number 10, Beautiful Joe, Beautiful Joe series. Oh, me? From ordinary man to superhero, here's a guy who really came into his own. Joe Black was a movie fan with a love for Japanese tokusatsu films, until his girlfriend Sylvia was kidnapped and taken to movie land. From that point onward, Joe trained in the ways of the superhero, proving himself through determination and sheer movie knowledge. Not bad, huh? The last part is the key. Just like many of us, Joe's pop culture experience guides many of his life decisions, incidentally making him a lot more relatable. Bless you, you energetic hero to be. That's it for your lesson. Number 9, Mike Hagar. Final Fight Series. First appearing in the original Final Fight, this former pro wrestler has still got it. Mike Hagar established himself early as a proactive hero. When his daughter Jessica was kidnapped by the Mad Gear Gang, Mike sprung into action and fought the gang head on. Even after retiring from his position as the mayor of Metro City, Mike's sheer physical prowess is unquestioned, as are his loyalty to his friends and his defense of the innocent. But anyone threatening his kin, be wary. He's a fighter through and through. Number 8, Arthur, Ghosts and Goblins series. Sometimes, simple nobility is a hero's strength. This is the case with Arthur, a lone knight who sets out to rescue Princess Prin Prin from the clutches of Satan. What makes Arthur special is his determination. Even when injured and stripped down to his boxers, he continues to endure in the hopes of saving his princess. Armed with his lance, Arthur will stop at nothing to accomplish his mission, and we respect him for that. Number 7, Morrigan, Darkstalker series. I'll take good care of you. Beauty and kindness unified as one. First appearing in 1994's Darkstalkers The Night Warriors, Morrigan came across as spoiled and rebellious, being the daughter of the Dark Lord Belial. Oh, you fight well enough. It's been a while since I've had such a good battle. Yet, as the series progressed, this young succubus showed herself to be more than meets the eye. Morrigan is constantly outgoing, friendly to those she meets, and willing to take up her father's throne. I've seen many men come and go. Will you be weak and pathetic like the others? At the same time, she's also perfectly capable of holding her own in a battle, finding a balance between toughness and cheerful disposition. Mistress, if you've had enough, can we go back now, please? No. Oh. Very well. Number six, Frank West, Dead Rising series. And the name's Frank. Frank West. He's covered wars, don't you know? Introduced as a freelance journalist looking to invigorate his career, Frank quickly revealed himself to be a self-driven individual. His dry wit and deadpan nature disguises a sincere desire to fight for the truth and help those in need. They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Even after being infected by a zombie plague, Frank still goes out of his way to lend a helping hand. As capable a modest hero as he is a reporter, Frank earns his place among the greats. Look, I got an idea. I have a source that's told me about some sort of phenotrans facility. Number 5, Jill Valentine, Resident Evil series. You viral cultured freak! With respect to Leon Kennedy, the master of unlocking is here to stay. Jill Valentine's had a fascinating career to say the least. From Delta Force trainee to part of Alpha Team of Stars, 
to co-founder of the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance. What is this? If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. Through it all, Jill has endured thanks to her pleasant demeanor, an unparalleled sense of calm, and a keen drive to fight for justice. She stands as something of a humble heroine, not seeking glory, but rather working so peace can be attained. Here's to you, Jilly. Number four, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Series. Why, it's you. Easy going on the surface, this defense attorney is a hero with the will to fight. Throughout the Ace Attorney games, Phoenix Wright shows himself more and more to be a balanced man. He is loyal to his friends, cares for the fate of his clients, and will even risk his own life and career to help others. Yet, he's also confident and resistant to fear, relying on his eccentric image to turn the tables on opposing lawyers. Objection! Clever and careful without losing his heart, Phoenix is truly a good man. Time to bring it to an end. Number 3, Dante, Devil May Cry series. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my kind of rain. Towing in the line between hero and anti-hero, this half-demon is definitely on our side. Right from his introduction, he is the quintessential cool guy. He's employed as a private investigator and demon hunter for hire, and conducts himself in a suitably badass manner. Over time, however, it became clear that Dante was more than just that. He'll take on jobs purely out of a sense of justice, and easily accepts demons that choose to live good lives. Add in an unwillingness to kill humans and a love for his family, and it's readily apparent that Dante is benevolent at his core. Ooh, I love a fast woman. Number 2, Chun-Li, Street Fighter series. You ready for this? An Interpol agent, a master warrior, Chun-Li's got a lot going for her. Introduced in Street Fighter 2 as the series' first female fighter, Chun-Li became well-known for her quick attacks and cheery disposition, which just nudges her ahead of the generic face of the series, Ryu. <laughs> With each new entry, though, her resourcefulness and dedication to the pursuit of good has grown. At present, Chun-Li's combat experience, ease of striking up friendships, continual focus on work, and kind nature have all merged to make her a well-rounded character. You two stay here. It's too dangerous for civilians. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Mega Man, Mega Man series. At once iconic and lovable, there's no one quite like the Blue Bomber. Not to be confused with X, Mega Man was designed originally as a lab assistant for Dr. Light, but he opted to aid his creator to battle the armies of Dr. Wily, and thus Mega Man was born. Professor, please, change me into a fighting robot. Mega? What are you saying, my child? What's most surprising is how human Mega Man comes across as. He struggles with issues of morality and yearns for peace between humanity and machines. Yet, when the chips are down, or rather, when you're playing the game, Mega Man is willing to fight, displaying a natural gift for leadership, unbelievable courage, and the strength to endure overwhelming odds. Seriously, do you know how hard these games are? Do you agree with our list? You're all satisfied. 
What's your favorite Capcom hero? You'd make a great wrestler yourself. For more captivating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I guess this is what they call a happy ending. Thank <laughs> you.